Here's the seventh question. The phase crossover frequency of the transfer function given g of s is equal to 100 over s plus 1 cubed in radians per second is one of the four choices. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to find out first what in general is the stability condition equation. So that can be considered as a formula. Okay, so stability condition is given by g of j omega which is minus 180. Now that is standard all right. So here angle of g j omega is the phase angle. We need to find out what is the phase crossover frequency which is omega. Okay. So let's observe what has been given in the transfer function which is 100 over s plus 1 whole cube. Now this can further be written as g j omega is equal to minus 3 tan inverse omega. Now that is because here we have the power as 3 100 over s plus 1 to the power of 3 minus 3 tan inverse omega. Now we have that the phase angle is minus 180 from the stability condition. Let's substitute that over here. 180 is equal to minus 3 tan inverse omega. Solving for omega. So we get omega is equal to tan inverse of, oh, so that's just tan, tan of 60. 180 divided by 3, so that sticks 60. So tan of 60 is root 3. So this matches the very first option. So the phase crossover frequency is root 3. You should be able to convert the transfer function given into an equation according to the stability condition. So because it is 100 divided by s plus 1 to the power of 3, that's s plus a to the power of n, you can write it as minus 3 tan inverse of omega. So I hope this has helped. Let's go to the next question.